はいはい I am Raven that takes flight by night under the moonlight and what I see with my sight I don't like what I see is not for me anyway listen I simply want to stop lithium done stop I need another antipsychotic or I don't maybe don't need any psychotic maybe I should just be on a on a uh, maybe I should just be on an antipsychotic high levels of antipsychotics because of all the bipolars I know I am one of the most psychotics of all the bipolars I know. I wouldn't be surprised if I was half bipolar and half schizophrenic actually, to be honest with you. As much as I hate the word and the diagnosis of schizophrenia, wouldn't want to have it personally, but I am so psychotic when I am so. It more so than but that's just because I'm a bipolar one that's all that is and every bipolar has his own entity his own combination of symptoms that makes him totally unique from any other bipolar anyway so you can call me bipolar you can call me schizophrenic just don't call me late for a meeting can you dig that or late for supper a message has been received a message has a message has been received. The hell's going on, man? Messages and all kinds of messages. Anyway, I was a little huffy and puffy earlier, saying I was going to fire my psychiatrist and this and that. There's no need. I just got to stop seeing him. Anyway, no, I'm just joking. No, I really want off the lithium. This is ridiculous. My health is going to shit in a handbasket real quick. And it's all is a direct result of lithium use. One of the harshest drugs I've ever been on in my fucking life. Well, there's one worse. And I tolerated it for three years, the lost years of my life. Lergactyl. Does that ring a bell? I dare any therapist, any psychiatrist, doctor to take a hundred milligrams of Lergactyl and sit around for the evening see if they like the trip. Guarantee you, you think twice about prescribing it to another human being. Anyway, I love my therapist. I love my doctors but I have to make a stand on this one my stand is I'm going to wean myself off of uh, lithium and once I'm off of it after it's going to take me a month to wean off or maybe three weeks I'm not sure three weeks I think once I'm off of it I will kill myself before going back on it because it's a death anyway, it's death in a pill it's death to the innermost man I had a conscious contact with my God and this pill has taken that away and it gives me a fear of death as a result of that there was a guy on YouTube he said I'm seeking my higher power but I cannot find him he was on lithium that's exactly what this pill does spiritual death in a pill spiritual death is that a side effect or therapy is it is that therapy for some I need my higher power back 
I need my conscious contact with God back. And I know the lithium is hindering it. I have proof within my own body, in the testimony of others, that I've gathered and sought for the last little while. It's time to connect the dots. And it's time to take a stand against the demon called lithium. Death in a pill. Spiritual death in a pill for sale. The death of passion in a pill for sale. It is finished, Lithium. I am casting you out of my body. I'm talking in symbolism to make a point. If you talk literal, people can't handle that. So why not talk in parables? Almost 50. And that's pretty up there. That's a weird number for me, I've got to tell you right now. I don't feel 50, I feel 70 right now on these pills that I'm on. Off of these pills, I feel 30. These pills will kill me. Death and a pill. They've already killed me spiritually, but that can be reawakened. That's why this series is called The Awakening. Lith Detox. The Awakening. Lith Detox. Anyway, this is... Uh, I just took another 900 milligrams of lithium tonight. Took 900 last night. So basically this is going to, uh, this is this day two of Lith Detox and I'm signing out for now because the tape runneth over and uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace be, peace be with you. This is Raven signing out. Stay real or don't stay. <laughs>